Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19. Go on Spectacle Island 19. Or it's just Spectacle Island. It's just Farm Sim 19, folks. Today we are disking up the plot of land that we just got through mowing. And uh, we're going to have something special here. What, you might ask? Mm, you have to watch and see, folks. I don't know the thumbnail will give her off or not, but yeah. We gotta get this this is up now. I'm gonna show y'all some stuff over there. I'm gonna show you what's in the back of the truck. That's a hint. If y'all can see it. Be right back. Oh, by the way, it's your host with the, not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller, folks. Hope y'all enjoy this and uh sit back and enjoy. That made no sense, did it? All right, right, we're waiting on another tractor to come back because I forgot the crop sensor. We're going to uh, load up the rest of these bales here. This is what we got. We got, oh, let's do it this way. Pull up. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to do that. Put that back on the trailer here. Okay, so... We have 28 bells here. Um, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 40 bells off of this uh, area that we're working in. So we're going to have this tractor take it to the farm. Our other tractor reach for a destination up there. So let me get some things shuffled around and. All right, we're back with the fertilizer <clears throat> and the lizard tool. So hopefully we can do this at the same time. Hopefully. All right, we're going to turn that on. And then we're going to get ready to fertilize. Which I tried to spot right there, but uh, yeah, it was a uh, mishap on my part. It's showing this. Okay. Yeah, it's putting on a layer. Alright, our tractor has reached its destination. I need to set up GPS so I know where I've been here in a second. Alright, let me get this mapped out for y'all and I'll be right back. Alright, folks, we are unloading. The last bit of the bales there. Pull out and give y'all a good look how much hay bales we got. Shoot this off. So far, my chickens haven't got dirty yet. Uh, yeah. Good, clean chickens. Alright, we got a. Uh, let see if I can jump up here. Probably right here. This is our straw, these three bales here that we got left. Um, yeah, we got a full load here. Uh, well, yeah. Now, I stacked a couple bales on top of that. And some here. This is the full load right here. What it looks like. You can see I got a couple more stacked up there. So, that's all our hay bales. Um, this is a grass. And then this is, uh, hay from the game that I haven't used yet. We're going to use this first. We've got some sillage back here. And uh, these are what we made also. So yeah. Everything from that view, we made. And everything with this view came with the game. Or when we got here. So, yeah. I got, I got a bunch of more stuff to do before we see the big surprise. Be right back. All right, now we are liming the field. And you can see there on the mini map how it's doing. So we're gonna be in the green, that's doing pretty good. Can't tell you what's on the back of the truck yet. Some of y'all might know already. Some of y'all might not. But I've decided to plant this, uh, this piece with uh, what's in the back of that truck. 
Oh lord, I just ran out of line. Okay, gotta go get some more. Alright, this is the third load and uh, we're done with the line. So everything's good and green on the map now. Now we got to cultivate it and uh, see what else we can do to it. Don't know if it's going to work or not, but I found a shortcut. Just come down around there to the boat spot and you can follow the, guess, the shoreline, the beach, or whatever. No beach and no sand. But it brings us right to this view. Easy. I wish I'd thought of this earlier. Gotta give the credit to Dagwin. I was watching his video earlier. And I'm like, hey, that would be a lot closer. A lot closer. All right. Got good. Looks like the GPS is right on line. And a little bit off after I've done that. So I'm going to adjust that over about there. Just bad boy down. And there we go. One step closer, folks. Seeing what's going to be in this. I give you a hint. It's short but it's tall. It's short, but it's tall. All right, I'm gonna buy this little seed drill thing here. And uh, we're gonna go plant some grass in our field. I had another one in here, uh, not this one, but it was, uh, no, I don't wanna go to the, I wanna go out. Go down to here, dry, or go up here. I had one like this right here, but I don't know what happened to it. It was something like that, but it done grass. The way it done wheat and all the others too. Still got that in there. That's like a it says 24, but we can go down here and that sort of go up to 50 meters. That'd be a link for our, all of our fields. But anyway. Got the tractor up here. Wait, what? Um, I just wanted one. Go back in here real quick. Well, I guess I bought it and didn't realize it and started recording. But anyway, yeah, I go to the farm shop, fill this up with seeds and uh, grass seeds. That is, let's go ahead and put down the grass before I forget. There we go. Right back. Alright, filling up with seeds. This thing holds 600. I hope that's going to be enough. Uh, some of y'all probably like, why am I this, this up just to plant grass in here? Well, one, we, we can fertilize this and uh, our grass can come back, you know, even more, have more value and stuff to it, even healthier. And we'll just get an increase in yield. But uh, I'm going to plant something else here, too, though, besides grass. Yeah, y'all get the hint yet? It's uh, short but tall. I think that's what I said right ago. Short but tall. Yeah, keep thinking. It's short but tall. Okay, y'all see me select 10 mile an hour on this cedar, right? But in some spots I'm doing 20, and other spots you know like 14. Like right now I'm going uphill. It, it, it's doing, as you can see, 14, 15, and it should start climbing here. 15 mile an hour, but I had it set to 10 in the store. Now I'm skipping some spots. Right, let me turn around. Yep, yep, I skipped the spot. I'm going to set a seed. Alright, here we go. I'm going to see how fast I can go again. There you go. 19 mile an hour and we're seeding. Hmm. Okie dokie. Alright, in this screen here you can see that this here is planted. Um, and we got some weeds I need to take care of across here with a sprayer but yeah that's all been uh, planted now time to plant the next thing 
All right, so now you know what's in the truck and what's behind the tractor. Uh, put a thing up right here from the Forestry Commission. What are they gonna make me pay 25,000 or plant 300 trees? Well, folks, each one of these crates are 50, or, you know, 50 saplings, not, not 50,000, 50 saplings. Uh, same as these here. Uh, you can see the thing down at the bottom right says 50. Uh, 50 in each one. So 50, 50 is 100. That's 150. Uh, 150 would be 2. 250, 3. 300 trees or saplings that will grow in the trees. Um, been having trouble with this bar. Go in here and show you real quick. I need to go to forestry right here. I'm gonna go over. As you can see, there's two different sets. You got this set here. Now it's just pretty much a, a plow behind and, and stuff, but this in here has got a PTO shaft on it. Yeah, let's see if we can go in here and see. So it's just a little plow. Digs a hole, and then it's got two blades on the back that covers it up. And you put your saplings here. And it's one meter, one piece. All right, go back and go to this. As you can see, it's got a uh, plow type thing in front that kind of cultivates the dirt and stuff. Then it's got a thing where the tree drops down. And these blades, yellow blades here, covers the hole up. And um, and it looks like you can set three pallets on each side of it. So a total of six, maybe seven pallets. Something like that. I haven't really tried this one. I, I bought it and tried to hook it to this thing. And it's just an eight meter bar where you can attach three of the planters on it. And this side here hooks to the tractor and this side hooks to the planters. And um, I don't know why Stevie's more hooked to this, but I got these here, this and here on this times three. And that's what you got right here. And I've been having problems with the GPS, recognizing it. Every time I go hit all the width, it goes to zero. So if y'all experience this for the first time, y'all need some help or something with it, set it to 30.02 that's what i got it set to right now and you can see it's a little bit not quite on the machine on the planter i got it overlapping quite a bit because uh i want all the rows to be the same and i hope it's going to be the same um tell you what let's just go ahead and start let's start over here that way, if it's not set right, I can adjust it. Uh, yeah, this one right here is about right. And we are using our big boy to plant this. Come on, now, lock on this right. All right. Yeah, I love this stretcher, folks. I love it. As you can see, let me get some more wear. See. Okay, you see that now. It says uh, 50, then it's got 100% tree saplings, and it's 50, 100% tree saplings, and it's got that times 3. Just so y'all know, and we are Case IH Magnum 400. So, everything's turned on that I know of. I got three orange symbols back there, and I need to put that back on that bar there. And let's see, I got it. Also, I want to show y'all this. Top left, I got it set for four meter distance in between the trees. At least I hope that's what it's, oh, that's fine. I have it set for four. All right, four, four, check that other one again, four. All right, now I want to go back to the bar. We're going to let the bar down. I wish it would actually have people in the seat. And here we go. All right, 
There's three trees right there. Oh, that's kind of... Wait a minute, one of them's off. That's four meter. That's four meter. That's four meter. Something's wrong with that last row. Why is that? It's set to four meters. Huh. Oh, four meters is going to be about right, but the oven's planting every two meters, looks like. Alright, then they set to four. That is set to four. That is set to four. Hmm. Oh, well. Now that one's out of trees. I'll tell you what, let's uh, unhook, hook back, and set the board. I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to go ahead and get the. Oh, I'm going to drive over. I didn't, I thought 300 trees it was going to come way out here. I didn't know it was going to be that close. That one run out that fast. Oh, don't hit. Ooh! That came close. Oh, I shut that off. Oh. Hey, we'll be close enough. Guess it's not close enough. I don't say, folks. Let me get it here in a second. Let's see, you turn it that way, you turn it that way, you turn it this way. All the pallets backwards. That's gotta be close enough. Uh, maybe I gotta turn all of them off. Turn that and all. Turn that and all. Oh, now it says refill. Alright, there we go. Alright, we'll turn that on. Set to 4 meters. Turn that back on. Set to 4 meters. 4 meters and turn it on. Put it back down. Down round 1. Here we go. Is that one row still? Oh, that's going to be fun harvesting. But what I was going to do, see, this is widening up here where we can mow down. in the water. Don't go in the water. All right. Wait. Yeah, I told the Forest Sugar Mission I was just going to do 300 trees didn't have to worry about anything else. The Yeah, this this, this going to get kind of sketchy too. I can plant more trees, Ooh. but uh, yeah. Oh boy, this oh oh, it's hard for a fat person to do. I'll be back in. Oh. All right. Uh, what, what y'all think about it? Do y'all guess right? Did y'all guess about the trees and stuff? I think we'll get support for that. Um, refill. Refill. Got one. I think I'm just going to let that one run out. And uh, we plant here. Okay. 
Yep, that one's out. Yeah, that, that's better right there. That ain't bad. What, what I'm going to do is we're going to harvest these trees and just keep planting trees. Of course, it's going to take them a while to grow in seasons. So, yeah. Hmm. But anyway, folks, uh, yeah. I, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I was going to try to make it a little bit kind of special episode and stuff. Something we wouldn't normally do. Um, I've never planted, I can't say never, it, it was back 2015 maybe I planted trees. Um, just one of those things I never thought about doing. I'm going to go on this other side over here. Just run these out. I'll tell you what, you know, I don't, that's going to be quite a bit of wood right now. Okay, they're out. Um, I think I'm going to keep this set up. And we might plant some more trees because, you know, Mr. Blue's going to cut down a lot more trees. And as we progress into bigger more lands and stuff. I just hope that don't mess up the grass. It shouldn't mess up the grass. But as you can see here, let's get out real quick. So that should that should be three meters wide right there. Should be able to get a lawnmower down through there. Or, a, or this one's kind of close. See. It would have been Nissen that was planting every year. No. No, it was planting two coming back. And you can tell how this one's a little bit closer, so I didn't have my GPS set right. It should have been this wide. And that's why you really need to measure your GPS right. I, I got this too shallow or too narrow and ain't nothing gonna fit down through here compared to this. But yeah, uh, we got trees planted. The uh, Forestry Commission should be happy. We, uh, we did plant them all, right? Did I get them all out of the truck? Let's go see real quick. Gotta get this truck out of here anyway before. Oh yeah, we got them all. Well, I don't get stuck. Oh, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, I'm spinning. No, 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 I'm stuck. Maybe not. There we go. Just got to take it in an angle. Maybe if I back out. Oh, yeah, much better in reverse. But anyway, folks, uh, my camera light and uh, can crusher links have been deleted because I forgot to re-register. Uh, after so long, people don't buy stuff from you. They will delete the links. And you have to redo them for, at an Amazon affiliate. So I'm not going to redo them right as of yet. I'm going to wait until I have a chance to do the videos on those pro pro ugh, products. And, uh, yeah. So if you don't see the links no more, you don't see me talking about it no more, that means uh, I ain't done the links yet. All right. Yeah, I, I was hoping I should have done wider apart than that. So we'll know now, next time, four meters, it should be about eight meters apart. And then we can cover more ground, spread them out more. But we'll let those babies grow and they get tall enough to post them. And you know what, I think I'm going to actually just sell this back to the shop. 
because he did have somebody else that was one, one too, so uh, yeah, ain't no sense in hogging it, right? We ain't going to use it for any time soon. Yeah. Right, this is what I'm on before we go. Let me shut this off in a second. I got to do these also, and then I'm going to show y'all something. Ah, as soon as we get them. Transporting has been about all I've been doing, folks, so there might be some I do off screen. See, there they go again. Might do some of them off screen. But here we are. Uh, it don't show. It shows grass being planted. And grass is there, but I don't think it's going to show the trees. But if we go over to here, um, grab the right mount. Tre trees planted. 300. So, Forestry Commission, you got your proof. You got the video. <laughs> I don't have to pay y'all 25000 <laughs> Anyway, anyway. Oh, speaking of which, I did get in touch with uh, Spectacle Island Road Department or Highway Department, whichever one you want. Trees cut down with 683. Um, I tell you what, from now on, um, Every time we cut down 300 trees, we're going to plant 300 trees. That way the Forestry Commission can, you know, stay off my booty. <laughs> Not that there it was. But, uh, I'm going to show you one more thing. One more thing before we go. Don't know how long this is. Probably 27 minutes, maybe 28. But I did talk to the highway department, Spectacle Island, and they said it would not, they would not charge me anything put dirt down through here the barges can't get through and it's a long ways around for everybody the transport missions from the gold mine over to the barge and stuff they said they would love for me to put some dirt down now so like will y'all pay me anything for doing it and I'm like no you gotta find your own dirt i'm like crap anyway anyway i know where to get the dirt from I know where to get the dirt from. Gotta get a bull. Oh, hello, wall. Gotta come over here. We're gonna take some dirt from this ridge here, and we're gonna smooth it out. Well, it ain't as steep. Probably bring from like there up to over here. Just have it kind of smooth, scrape down, and we'll take the dirt we get from here and put it over there. It won't be time consuming. But anyway, folks, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I love each and every one of y'all. Don't forget to check out the links down below. There's still some links down there, folks, of YouTubers. Just like you that's watching. They need some love, too. So uh, y'all want me to leave some love on y'all's channel? Don't forget to drop a comment, and I'll go to that comment and search. You know, I'll... Click on your name on from that comment. Say like uh, 3D Outdoors. He leaves me a comment. I'll go to that comment. Go to his channel. Watch one of his videos. Leave a comment there showing him I, I came. And then I'll go back and uh, reply to that one comment that he left. And we just go back and forth, you know. Comment. All right. I'm going to sell this back, folks. And uh, I will see you on the next episode. Um, probably we'll be hauling some sewage because our sewage bunker is ready. So, expect to see that in the next video. And probably advance time a little bit so we can do something to our crops. But I haven't said that, I gotta go because this, this is getting long. So, y'all have a great day, a blessed day. I'll see you in the next episode, folks. Later.